First at 10, new developments in the arrests made regarding a gruesome murder in Bradford County we first reported on last week. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Larie. The Bradford County District Attorney now says this case could potentially be a death penalty case. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules attended a news conference today and has the latest developments. Bradford County District Attorney Richard Wilson saying today that the death penalty could be justifiable in a homicide investigation given the circumstances of the case. In this case, the fact that a one-year-old child was present at the time of the death of Michael Pruitt, that could be an aggravating circumstance to justify the Commonwealth seeking the death penalty in this case. Wilson says under Pennsylvania law, a single aggravating circumstance is required to justify the death penalty. Pennsylvania State Police discovered last week the remains of 40-year-old Michael Pruitt in the area of Sawyer Road in Springfield Township after responding to a report of a homicide. 47-year-old Terry Parker and 48-year-old Rhonda Parker were charged with homicide, abuse of a corpse, and evidence tampering. 36-year-old Summer Hale was also charged with evidence tampering and abuse of a corpse. According to court documents, Pruitt, who was staying at Rhonda's home at the time, was lured by Terry into Rhonda's home and shot several times and later dismembered. State troopers say that they discovered text messages that detailed the gruesome murder. In an interview with police, Hale expressed that the crime could have been motivated by Terry's anger towards the victim for allegedly engaging in sexual acts in front of his young children. However, state police say nothing has been confirmed yet. That is actively being investigated as we speak. I can confirm today that those allegations of purported sexual acts by the victim had not been previously reported to state police. They had not been reported to Childline, and they had not been reported to any other law enforcement agency. All three defendants were denied bail and remain in the Bradford County Prison. Reporting from Tawanda in Bradford County, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10. The preliminary hearing for all three defendants is scheduled for next week.